Welcome to the Itiski YouTube channel, Itiski Tutorials. This is episode 6 of the Shoot'em Up mini-series, an introduction to video game developments. So, we finished up everything about our game and there's only one more thing to do export it and share it with our friends. This episode is going to be really quick and simple and we're just going to learn the basics of how to export a game to PC, Mac, and Linux and how to share the game with your friends. In case you haven't heard, there's a Kickstarter running right now. Links in the description below to the Kickstarter page and more information about the Kickstarter. So the Kickstarter is for the Ultimate Game Dev Tutorial Series. A tutorial series is going to teach you how to create an entire 3D adventure video game completely from the ground up using all free software. If you have any questions or suggestions about anything in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I try to respond to as many comments as I can. Alright, let's go ahead and just jump right into this tutorial. Alright, so here we are inside of Unity, and let's go ahead and hit run and see where our game is at. And everything is basically a finished game, or at least it's kind of sloppy, but we created it in a pretty short amount of time. And yeah, so you can play the game, uh, the enemies can hit you, and you can explode. And then the game will restart in a few seconds, and we got some textures, and we got bullets and materials, and basically everything is super, super awesome. So now we only have one thing left to do. We need to export it so that you can send this game to your friends and have them play it and have them tell you how awesome it is. Okay, so uh, we're going to do one little trick here. We're actually going to hit control, we're gonna, well, we're gonna select the scene inside of our project, which I have called level one, and let's duplicate it. And it's gonna automatically call it level two, but let's call this um, screenshot something. Good enough. All right, so um, screenshot. So we're gonna open up that scene, and just to make sure you have it open, look, look up in this corner, you can see it says screenshot instead of level one. So what we are actually going to do, we're going to run the game, and then, I'll show you this in a second, I'm going to wait for some enemies to appear, and then shoot it! Oh. <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, so let's wait for it to respawn. So I have my mouse button on the pause button, and I'm going to shoot it in the pause. Okay, there we go. So our game is paused, and now we're going to basically, just we're just going to find a really cool camera angle, and we're going to create a cool screenshot. So something like that maybe, maybe, um, actually can I move the explosion? I think I can move the explosion, let's see, it, no I can't, oh wait, maybe if I go to simulate in world space, oh no that just got rid of the explosion, okay let's unpause that and let's try again, so, uh, shoot pause, okay, there we go, so now we pause it again, and um, I'm just trying to find something that will fit inside of like a really, really small square. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the main camera, and then I'm going to go to Game Object. Let me move my window over so that you can see it. I'm going to go to Game Object, and then Align with View. So now we basically move the camera. So now in the game view, it looks like that. So we can continue, like we can just move it manually. So let's move it. So let's move it over here, and we can move the player spaceship too if we want. We can move everything because the game's paused. It doesn't really matter. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty epic. Let's let's rotate the spaceship, and let's put it like that. Let's drag and drop some bullets in here. Um, let's uh, move this bullet so that you can see it. Let's press Control D to duplicate it, and we'll just create multiple spaceships. And, or I mean multiple bullets, that's what I meant to say. Uh, let's move the camera back over a little bit. Um, we can rotate the camera. Yeah, let's rotate it like that. Now let's right click on game and then select maximize. And then I'm going to hit print screen, the print screen button. You might have used that before if you're on a PC. Or if you're on a Mac, I believe you can press, oh, let's see if I can try to remember it, command. Alt Shift 4 or something along those lines, but there's a keyboard shortcut on Mac to uh, take a screenshot. But basically, we're just going to create a screenshot. Now let's go into GIMP and let's create a new file. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and leave it 1024 by 1024. Um, let's create that and let's scale it down so it fits inside of our video here. Scale that window. And we can exit out of the old window too. Uh, yeah, close without saving. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could save that so that you can edit it later. 
um, but and then let's zoom out to 50%. Um, and now I'm just going to hit paste. And now I should be able to, where's my move tool? There's my move tool. Let's move it around. There we go. And let's scale it up a little bit. So actually I need to zoom out even more. Let's do 25%. And now let's uh, scale it. Where is my scale tool? Is that my scale tool? Yes. All right, so let's actually, oh wait, no, I want to scale it up. Well, I guess let's scale it up and then let's move it. Okay, what happens? <laughs> okay, so I made just a little bit of a mistake there. So let's try this again. So I'm going to scale it and then I'm going to grab this little center circle thing to move it. And I'm just going to line it up with this yellow dotted line so that uh, the only thing that we see inside of that yellow dotted line is the actual game. Uh, let's scale it up even more, actually. It doesn't matter. This uh, image is going to be really, really small in the end. I just want part of that explosion in there. I, I think that looks pretty good. And then we have this little window over here, and we're going to select Scale. And now it's loading, loading, loading. It'll be done in just a second. And there we go. Everything is scaled. So let's export that. And we could probably just do it as a PNG. And let's call this icon. So let's export that and leave all the default settings and export it. And now we just exported it inside of Unity. So let's go ahead and uh, unpause the game. Whoops. Let's select game and unselect maximize. Okay. And now let's go back to level one. And okay. So here we are in the level one scene. I guess we didn't really need to duplicate the scenes, but you know, that's okay. Um, next, let's go to, I need to move my window over so that you can see it. Let me, let me minimize GIMP and, whoops, oh, I just opened up a program, dang it. Let me minimize that, let me uh, exit out of that. Did I just open up another one? Okay, exit out, there we go, okay. I just wanted to exit out of everything that I wasn't using. Okay, so let me move my window over so that you can see it, and I'm going to go to Edit, Project Settings, oh, I gotta move it over even more, stupid, okay. Edit, Project Settings, uh, Player. And now, over here, we have the Player Settings. So now, let's set the default icon, which is labeled as Icon. And there we go. We can drag and drop that there, and we can see all the different uh, rescalings of the icon. So that's what the icon's going to look like. It's, it's an OK icon. You can uh, spend a little bit more time making yours look a little bit better. Um, company name, for me, I'm going to call this Etiski. Um, and instead of ship game, like that's just the name of our project, what should we, what should we name it? Let's just name it Super Awesome Space Battle. That's going to be the name of our game. Super Awesome Spaceship Battle. Um, and I believe that is probably everything that we need to edit in the, uh, project settings for now. Um, yeah, I guess it's everything that we need to edit in the project settings for now. So next, let's go to File. Whoops, I got to move my window over so that you can see it. Let's go to File and then Build Settings. So this is basically our last step. Um, so one thing we want to make sure we do is we need to have a list of all of the scenes that we're going to be using in this actual game when we export it. So right now it's blank. So let's go ahead and add current. Alternatively, you can also grab it over here and drag and drop it in there. Um, like, let's say if I did the screenshot thingy, uh, I can add it there. Um, and then so this is, and the, there's a little number here. So this is scene zero, and then this is scene one. But I don't want the screenshot level in there. So let's go ahead and not put that in there. And it's always going to automatically load up scene zero. Um, and then later in your game, you can have it open up scene one or scene two or whatever you want. Um, okay, and next, depending on what platform you're on, whether you're on a, a Mac or Windows, it really doesn't matter. Um, you can export it to Linux as well if you have any friends that have a Linux computer or if you want to play the game on your Linux computer. Um, but for now, I'm going to do Windows, but it should be exactly the same when you do Mac. So I'm going to do Windows. I'm going to click uh, click build and I'm going to go ahead and just save it inside of my project folder and I'm going to call this super awesome whoops space 
battle. Oops. Um, game version one. <laughs> I guess I'll just name it that. That's good. So let's save it. It's building it, and then it should open up a folder and show it to me when it's done. Yep, there it is. And so one thing to note is when you're exporting your game to uh, Windows, you're going to also get a folder. You need that folder along with the .exe file. So let me double click it and just show it to you. Uh, let's do windowed mode and let's do 720p and let's do fantastic graphics. All right, and then let's play that. And here we have the game and will it run? Looks like it's running. Looks like it's running just like it did inside of the editor. So basically here we have the finished game. And as you can see up in the window, it says super awesome space battle and there's the icon. And then, um, then I died, and then it'll restart. And then when I hit the escape key, it quits. So just like we wanted it. So let's um, create a new folder, and let's call this uh, Super Awesome Space Battle. And then let's grab the folder, and then hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac and select both of those and drag and drop them inside of that folder. I guess we could have done that when we were exporting it, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to select right click, uh, send to compressed zip folder. And it should be just about the exact same thing when you do it on a Mac. And there's your file. You're basically all set. That's the whole thing. So. Uh, this particular game is only 8 megabytes, so yeah, this is the file that you're going to want to send to your friends. You can email it to them, you can send it to them through Mediafire, you could put it on a flash drive and give it to them. Just um, You can make a PC, Mac, and Linux version, you can put them all in the same folder. Um, basically, at this point, it's all up to you how you want to distribute it and how you want to give it to people for them to play. So yes, I hope you enjoyed your first experience with creating a video game inside of Unity 3D and also using Blender and GIMP to help out uh, make the game look even cooler. Um, so yeah, these are three of the five tools that we're going to be using in the Ultimate Game Dev tutorial series, which is what the Kickstarter is for. Um, so the other two uh, uh, programs that we're going to be using are Audacity, which is an audio program which you can use to record and edit sound effects and music. Uh, and then the other uh, piece of tool, I guess, I don't know if it's software, I guess it's a plugin, um, is Rain AI by Rival Theory. And uh, we can't use that in this particular example because, well, the enemies, they just move down. But Rain AI makes it so enemies can make decisions, they can uh, plot out paths, they can uh, patrol waypoints, and they can do a lot of cool stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be using inside of the official Ultimate Game Dev tutorial series, which uh, is what you can watch if you uh, subscribe to the Kickstarter. Or, well, I guess you can watch it either way, but yeah, all the information about the Kickstarter is going to be below. So I hope you all are excited about that, and I definitely am. And I guess, yeah, I guess that pretty much summarizes this episode and this mini tutorial series, so I hope you enjoyed. So until my next video, I will see you later, and keep making games.